and welcome back to Florida Foodie. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Candace Campos. Food is a big part of every culture's heritage and tradition. Florida is an extremely diverse state, and we can all really enjoy cuisine from just about any part of the globe. Today's guest works to celebrate the diversity of cultures here in Florida and their culinary tradition. Her organization puts on a monthly dinner exploring the food and culture that can be found here. It is called Diversitastic Dining. <laughs> uh, that's a mouthful. Yeah. We are so happy to be joined today by Tali Sugisawa, the Executive Director of Fusion Fest. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, first, tell, what is Fusion Fest? Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. Uh, so Fusion Fest is a local nonprofit organization with the mission of celebrating all the different cultures that we have here in Central Florida. And we do that by sharing stories through our film program, um, our Diverse Orange talk show. We do also that by showcasing talents, uh, by supporting local businesses that are ethnically diverse, and by putting a big show on a free two-day multicultural festival in November. So the whole point, our whole mission, is for people to learn about different cultures, like to showcase and mm -hmm. share their their backgrounds, but also learn from different cultures. Um, and we started with the festival, and now in 2020, actually, again, it's just so weird, the time, right? Like I say now, but actually we started the dining series in, in 2020 as a way to keep people engaged and also support local businesses as we prepare to the big festival in November. And it's all about culture. So give us an idea of what your background is. Yeah. So I am an immigrant here um, and I was born and raised in Brazil, in the south of Brazil. Uh, but my, my father's family, they're from Japan. So I was uh, from an immigrant family in Brazil, and now I am myself an immigrant here with my family. Um, I moved here in January 2015 for uh, another job that I had, had nothing to do with culture and arts. <laughs> if I went back in time and told myself, listen, you're going to be in the arts, uh, that's going to be your next gig, I'd, I'd laugh because <laughs> I'm like, no, I am like 100% business and spreadsheets. and. Um, not that spreadsheets are not a part of this job, but um, <laughs> that that was just not something that was on my radar. Um, but as I was waiting on our work permits and all of that, I started volunteering in a lot of organizations in town. And one of them was, well, was not an organization, was a grassroots movement actually led by Terry Olson with Orange County Arts and Culture Affairs. Mm -hmm. And I just started volunteering in their committee, which was put together to talk about how we can celebrate the different cultures that we have here. So we had about 40 people, uh, three from each region of the world, kind of, and we met monthly just to talk about ways we could do that, honor who we are, our backgrounds, but also, like, now we're all here in Central Florida how does that look like? How are we as Central Floridians coming from India, coming from Ohio? Because mm -hmm. we don't only celebrate cultures from other countries. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, how does a Texan live here now in Central Florida? How does that look like with your Texas barbecue, right. which is a yeah. totally different style? Right. So like kind of celebrating us as Central Floridians with all our backgrounds. And there is no better way, in my opinion, to celebrate all those different backgrounds than with food, right? Yes. Like, you know, yeah. who doesn't love that? So if you're, you know, kind of tired of whatever you've been eating and you're looking for something different, uh, diverse, tas diverse, tastic, yeah, diverse, <laughs> I'm glad you said it again. That's hard. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a great option. So like, what exactly is that? You meet monthly? Yes. Okay. And so can anyone just, just like show up yeah well yes okay. uh, we do sell tickets on our website for those experiences uh -huh. and uh the way that we do it is we try to have represent good representation from all regions of the world again we internally divided the globe into 10 regions mm. and the way what we do is so each month we celebrate a culture we kind of try to align with whatever celebration is going on at the moment so for hispanic uh, Heritage Month, mm -hmm. we'll try 
to do a Latin Hispanic restaurant for Asian and Pacific Islander month. We'll try to do an Asian uh, restaurant. And what we do is we go to a restaurant and we talk to the owner slash manager slash chef and we say, hey, we would like to bring a lot of people here that had never tried your food or people who you know, want to experience this and has had this kind of food, but has never been to your restaurant. And in addition to that, we will bring some entertainment, some artists, and we're going to have some storytelling. Could you put together a full course menu, starting with appetizers and then different, uh, you know, entree options and a dessert and a sample of a drink? And um, and then we will just organize everything and bring those people here. Wow. Yeah. So that's what we do. And then we have all, because of the festival, we have all these connections with local artists and organizations mm. as well. So let's, uh, let me give you an example. For in January, we did India. And but we did Punjabi area, which is totally different from other areas, the northern part of India. So you could have I'm sure you all had Indian food, but have you had Punjabi food? I can't say um, I, I did. don't even know if I have. Right. You know? yeah. right? yeah. And there's some slight differences. And uh -huh. most of the dishes you look at don't really see the difference. But then you learn from the chef, right? The way that you prepare this is different. Yeah. Um, then we learn that. Also, it is the birthplace of the Sikh faith and Sikh religion. So we try to find an organization and find a spokesperson mm -hmm. for that. And mm -hmm. uh, so during that night, we experience a full course meal. And also uh, we learn about the Sikh faith and mm -hmm. how did that come about? And um, we had dance from the Diviani dancers that wow. uh, are kids who are learning and the parents uh, are trying to keep their heritage alive. So um, that's what happens on yeah. Diverse Atastic Dining. We do sell tickets on our website, fusionfest.org slash dining. And because most of the restaurants, well, all of the restaurants are, you know, small businesses, they don't have a lot of space. So we do sell out pretty right. quickly mm -hmm. uh, as soon as they're open. Usually about 50, 60 guests is, wow. is our, our turnout and the capacity of restaurants. And it's just a great night. Like this yeah. Sunday, we just celebrated Cuba. We did um, Black Bean Deli. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And we had a visual artist painting live Beautiful. and shared yeah. his story of coming to the United States and how was his immigrant experience coming here, not speaking the language. And um, another person also shared his story. And I mean, it was That's so immersive. Yeah, well, this seems like a great like date night thing that every yeah. couple mm -hmm. should do every month. Yes, yes, yes. And we had a few guests say that they saw at a Orlando date night guide and like, oh, my oh, God, yeah, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So we have singing, we have dancing, we have storytelling, chef talk and Again, the whole point is for people to just learn about something new and, you know, from from a person that could be their neighbor. Right. right. Yeah. And so what is the cost to attend something like that? And does it help you raise money for other events that you put on? Yeah. So to be honest, we usually break even on yeah. those because or sometimes we lose money if we don't have a sponsor. But it is just so dear and close to our mission mm -hmm. that it just became part of our program uh, because we come in and we also shoot a commercial for the restaurant. So wow. before when we close, okay, we're going to do this. We bring a videographer mm -hmm. and we do this one, two minute commercial that we wow. also boost on social media. That's how we promote it. Uh, we show how the food is being cooked yeah. and all of that. Um, so tickets are on our website and they're 49, usually $49. We try to make it as affordable as possible. Yeah. Um, we want for all the communities to be able to come and enjoy and it's all included full course meal, live entertainment. Yeah, that's great. That is a great that. deal. Yeah. I mean, and there's so many yeah. times where you're just like, I'm not sure if I'm going to like that. I don't know what to order and yeah. what are the, you know, some places that are just different, you know, yeah. something yeah. that you haven't really experienced. So, I mean, that's just a great opportunity. What's, what's been your most favorite night? Oh my God. You have, you had, <laughs> if you had to pick one. Okay. Um, 
I'm gonna say, well, Punjabi India was really mm-hmm. interesting because I learned a so lot. So much, right? Yes. Um, but I'm gonna say, like, South Africa, mm. we did in February, South Africa at the Browns Kingdom Museum, and they have a restaurant inside the museum, at, I didn't oh. know, and we focused on South Africa, we had amazing drummers, dancers, and, and people also sharing how, how was growing up in South mm-hmm. Africa during the, you know, the segregation, and I think that just, deeply touched every guest mm, wow. um so and i tried a lot of different foods too so <laughs> i would say maybe south africa was one of my one of my favorites but i i can't say it's number one because we have so many <laughs> it's like ones. asking candace yeah. which daughter do you right right yeah. i can't i just can't <laughs> yeah. depends on the day yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's wonderful. So you've mentioned so many uh, great events that you've already had. What is on the calendar, you know, in the months to come? Yeah, so um, I'm going to urge all our listeners to hurry up and get tickets for next month for June's uh, edition because we're mixing it up with our fusion cooking contest. Ooh. So this month in June, June 20. 20- seven and 28 we're gonna have our cooking contest as the diversitastic dining experience so i think i mentioned before that we not only want people to showcase their cultures but we also want we we create opportunities for them to learn from each other and we award them we reward them Mm -hmm. so for example in fashion which is one of our tracks uh we offer a thousand dollar prize for a fashion designer to come to create a unique design combining let's say fabrics uh, from, I don't know, Japan and mm-hmm. patterns from Africa and putting an outfit together. And putting it together. Uh-huh, and creating something very unique. So for chefs, we do the same thing. Uh, we have a couple of different prizes. I think total prize will come up about almost $2,000, but the the first place we get a $1,000 prize for the best fusion. So combining ingredients, spices, and techniques from different regions of the world and creating something very unique. Uh, so that's going to be our June edition. And people will be able to sit there and yes. enjoy this. Yes, who judges this? Yes, so we have 10 judges, okay. again, representing all the do 10 regions. Do you need regions. 12? Like, do you need two extra judges? <laughs> I'm, I'm available that weekend. I already looked. We might. <laughs> we might. Yeah. I need to look at our, right, our yeah. confirmation <laughs> list. but. Yeah, so we have 30 seats and we're uh, partnering with Valencia, the School of Culinary Arts. Mm -hmm. And they are in downtown Orlando in the Creative Village and they have a beautiful setting. So we're opening up for guests as well. So there are 30 tickets each night and those guests will try eight different dishes from eight different chefs each night. And then those judges will be choosing the winner of the first night. We will also, I think, have a audience choice award. And also the second night, another eight chefs will come in and- With uh, 30 different people. Yes, yes. 30 different yeah. people, but same judges. Yeah. And they will choose uh, another winner of that night. And then those two will Ooh. be the runner ups. It's like watching a cooking show on TV. Yeah. 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 But again, you know, and I was looking at the list of applicants and Yes, we have some chefs, kind of renowned uh, Mm -hmm. chefs from like fancy chefs from from restaurants. But we also have people who just uh, are creative in the kitchen. Yeah. Like I have a few uh, people that I know. They're like, I'm not a chef, but can I sign up? Because I love creating. Like, yes, you should. Well, we've we've talked to so many people who are chefs on TikToks and Instagram and, you know, so... There's so no stopping. Since that event is not at a specific restaurant, where will you hold something like that? That's going to be at Valencia. It is at Valencia. Yes, okay. uh, the Culinary mm-hmm. School of Culinary Arts. I think okay. I'm saying this right. Mm-hmm. In yeah. the downtown yeah. campus the in the village. Creative Village. Yes. Cool. Yes. So speaking of fusion, you also have a big event that you do at the end of the year or towards the end of the year yes. in November. Can you tell us a little bit about Fusion Fest? Because you've done it now for a couple years. Yes, yes. As I was sharing before we started recording, Recording. This is our fifth year, but of course, two have been in a pandemic, mm-hmm. so it feels like, yes, we are a toddler now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's just, it, it's different because we had so many restrictions putting a event that draws thousands of people together mm -hmm. during a pandemic. Um, but we're so excited this year that uh, it's our fifth year and hopefully uh, no pandemic mm -hmm. anymore by November uh, with people, you know, getting more vaccinated and protected. Uh, we're just so excited to have this festival. So there we will have about 15 food vendors and we curate all of them so you will not see three vendors uh, selling tacos or empanadas mm -hmm. we will uh, have the best empanada and the best taco and the best sushi and uh, you know the best of of all regions um and i can share that last year my favorite was syrian food uh, i huh. don't think i had syrian food before mm -hmm. And they had an amazing, I don't even know how to explain, but they use a lot of lemongrass in their um, seasoning. Yum. And I love it. It was amazing. So we have a lot of different foods. So if you can come for tacos, if you're more comfortable with that, but you can also come for some Palestinian, Syrian, Brazilian food, um, if you will, mm. at the and festival. That is the week after Thanksgiving. Yes, that's yes. the week after Thanksgiving. So we say, you know, we have the whole family. You're cooking since Tuesday, you Wednesday. You don't want to cook the family in your house <laughs> all those days, yeah. and you're eating it up. And then Friday, you just go out shopping for some Black Friday deals. Mm -hmm. Don't spend all your money, save some, and come to Fusion Fest to try some different foods because yeah. you're done eating all those leftovers right. by Saturday. And uh, we also have a uh, marketplace, an international marketplace, where we have local artisans producing. So nothing is mass produced, just local artisans producing things like jewelry, uh, bags, clothes, and, and like gifts mm -hmm. and art uh, that they're selling at the festival. So it makes up great gifts for the holiday season as well and it's a free festival great for the family yes, music free, dance, outdoor festival three let stages me, yes yeah. let me remind everyone that the weather is always amazing and yes. the time of the smart to do it in november Hurry, yes hurricane <laughs> season is gone and uh yes. it is really amazing weather uh historically it never rains so oh my you know, knock on wood yeah right? knock, yes. you know, with right now yeah. <laughs> and um yeah so three stages we have music dance spoken word uh storytelling we have a poet poetry slam also with prizes where people slam and they talk about diversity and their upbringings and things like that. We have an art gallery. I think this year we are exhibiting 20 local artists with the theme of home. So what does home mean to you mm -hmm. uh, culturally, your heritage and being here in Central Florida? So uh, a full gallery with all those 20 artists. And uh, what else? Well, we have a family village. So people with kids, bring your kids. We will have workshops uh, from different cultures and games. Oh, fun. So kids can come in. So my daughter last year, she learned how to make an African doll with, I don't even know the, the name of those materials, like corn husks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, and just like natural materials, uh, building kites, building origamis. So wow. we have every hour, we have a different art workshop for families, um, games. So if you like dominoes and you can come and play, mm -hmm. if you want to learn how to play mahjong, uh, we will have instructors there to help you learn how to play that wow. game and some like lots of fun stuff that you, you can go in and experience something different and learn something. Our whole point is for people to, learn about each other because i think when you we only fear what we don't know right right we only we we feel like uncomfortable when we don't know something but once we know then i feel like we can just be more comfortable mm -hmm. and 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 don't fear like yeah. we can yeah. actually become friends have and a collaborate. great appreciation yeah. and understanding yes. yeah yeah as we have a lot of faith talks as well mm -hmm. with the interfaith council of central florida they come in and just explain dif about different uh faiths and about also about non-faith i don't remember what they're called, atheists but also mm -hmm. they're called other things um mm -hmm. another term for them but there's also that, like world views. And so we also have a film program, short film program, where we pair filmmakers and film subjects, which are people who just want to share their journeys, the, the story of their journeys to Central Florida. And um, filmmakers have 
four days to produce to meet their subject mm. and then produce that short film that is about five minutes so we'll also see that at the festival um just i i it's it is aside from food is one of my favorite programs inside our project because the stories are really moving and you just like you have no idea what people go through to just be right, here right. and then how grateful they are it just reminds us to not ever take for granted yeah, appreciate being here and living this life you know, mm -hmm. so. so you plan out our monthly date nights you plan yeah. out a family <laughs> yearly outing yes. i mean so where can people find you because there's so many things that you can get involved yes. in so give us a way of how we can find you online please follow us mm -hmm. on fusion fast orlando we are on instagram and and facebook we also have a youtube channel where we go live every month we are a film program because now we have a collection of over 50 films wow. so we have watch parties every month um where are those um uh, those are on youtube and also mm. facebook so like nice. any other organization we did yeah. create some virtual programming mm -hmm. as well um and then fusionfast.org this is our website we have everything i'm there. going there yes, yes. yes. <laughs> looking at those tickets yeah. yeah and you can also find us honestly almost now every weekend if there is a Bengali Association mm -hmm. uh, a cultural festival, we're there because we are. What we say is, if there is no Japan Fest, if there is no Puerto Rican Day Parade, there's no us. Mm -hmm. So we try to be at all those cultural events, uh, supporting them mm -hmm. and and you know promoting what we do, but also being there for them as well. So you can find us at. Most of the yeah. cultural events happening in Central Florida, uh, we counted in 2018 and 2019, we have around 70 uh, cultural events, Ooh, wow. cultural events in Central Florida alone. So, so. just follow along and you'll have yes. plenty of things yes. to do. Yes. 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 Don't ever say, what are we going to do this weekend? Yeah. Or, you know, I don't you. like anything, <laughs> you know, I'm talking about my kids now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to eat that. I don't want to eat that. Well, look, you've got 15 options. Yes, right yeah, exactly. So yes. great. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This was fascinating to hear all about your organization and everything you guys have going on. And hopefully we'll see you out there soon. Thank you so much for having me for this opportunity. I'm very grateful. Thank you for listening to Florida Foodie. We'd also like to thank our guest, Tali Sugasawa from Fusion Fest. You can learn more about Fusion Fest and Diversitastic Dining at FusionFest.org. Or you can follow the organization on social media. Just search Fusion Fest Orlando on Facebook and Instagram. Lisa Bell is online as well. Search Lisa Bell News on Facebook and Instagram or Lisa Bell News 6 on Twitter. You can also find Candace Campos on social media. She's on Twitter. Just search at Candace News 6. And on Facebook, search Candace Campos News 6. Also, a big thank you to our technical producers, Derek Mosier and Ryan Haley, and our post-production audio engineer, Chris Flora. Our director is Rich Burns. I'm the show's producer, Thomas Mates. Please take the time to rate and review us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, or you can tell a friend about us. And you can find videos of all of our podcasts on clickrolando.com slash Florida Foodie. And be sure to sign up for the Florida Foodie newsletter while you're there. <laughs>